Hi everyone, and welcome to Wasp3D. In today's video, you will learn how to create a broadcast quality scroller or ticker along with its animations for vMix and OBS. Before we start, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Without any further delay, let's get started. First, create a rectangle and set its width and height. Animate the rectangle and then duplicate it. Assign different fill colors to each rectangle, as blue and yellow in this video. You can choose your brand colors as per your requirements. Duplicate it again and set the outline thickness and offset animation. Copy it once more to group the outlines. Drag the outline group and drop it into the first rectangle to make it a child. Now, create a scroller and a scroll group. Add a text object with the appropriate font size and style. Choose any shape to create a separator between the texts. Make the text object as a child of the separator and drag and drop it into the scroll group. Also, drag and drop the scroll group into the scroller. Position both the groups at the bottom, just above the full HD safe area. In the timeline, right-click and add Start Scroller, assigning Scroller 1 as the target in the default end frame of the band animation. Add a pause infinite after a few frames in the default. Duplicate the scroll group thrice for continuous scrolling of text in the scroller. Now, let's create the UDT for entering the data easily. Create a new UDT table, select the simple scroller UDT template, and name it. Open the created UDT table in the UDT pool, set rows per page to 1, check the loop box, and click OK. To assign the text to the scroller, set the tag name of the scroll group by copying it from the text object's name. To make the scroller functional, right-click on the scroller, select Events, and click on the scroller. 
Select Scroll Group 1 and choose Set Perms in Actions. Select the target as self tag in Node Perm, then select Text 3D, and in Object Perm, select Text. In Variable, select the target, click on Data Source, choose UDT1, and then select Scroller Data. Click Add. Select Set Perm, choose Record Move from Actions, click it, and set Scroller Data from UDT as the target and click OK. Now when the text data ends, select on Failure, choose Stop Scroller from Actions, set Scroller 1 as the target, check the Abort box, Add it, and Exit Switch Case. Then click Add. Drag and drop all remaining scroll groups into Scroll Group 1 to make them its child. Create the Form and Form tab. Save the file as a template. Now your scroller is ready. To play it in vMix, add input by clicking on Add NDI slash Desktop Capture, select Wasp 3D Window. To play the graphic template in OBS, add a window, click on NDI Source Window, select the source as Wasp 3D NDI. Using the features and the functionality mentioned in the video, you can create your own brand own designs for your channel to elevate the entire look. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on creating and using some super amazing 3D live graphics for your vMix, OBS, or any other live streaming application.